hello friends we are going to create hello world application in the android studio first open android studio then go to the menu bar then new then new project then select empty views activity only then next then give it a name i will give it as pro dot pro one pro one then uh, we'll say uh, the package name is uh, as default and uh, java select java called no good 24 then it'll finish now wait until it loads up everything it like it takes a little bit of time um i will show you each and everything that where which of the three files are required we require only three files that is manifest main activity dot java activity underscore main dot xml two xml files and one java file and uh, where it is located i will show you now okay it's everything is loaded now okay okay go to the uh, go to this section open this app and then in the manifest folder you can find the android manifest dot xml where the uh, application name and everything is present in that file and next in the java see the package name that is com.android.pro1 and that we find the main activity dot java and then in the resource folder go to layout and there we can find activity underscore main dot xml and activity underscore main xml in this we gonna design the layout of our application this is the coding part and this is the design and code and the last one is only the design part okay i will just show you how to implement the button first we have the text view it's by default so now uh, i will just remove this okay only coding part i will select to clear view the code for you guys i will show you that also the design how it looks after typing it now i will just give it before text view i want button i will just less than button and you have to select from that uh, which is suggested by the program itself and if you type everything by your own it may leads to error so i will just match into the parent, parent means uh, your device screen how much it is that much um, it will fit automatically see i will show you okay see here it is uh, we're gonna fix that with wrap content we can fix or we can give it uh, let me delete this and i will show you the easier way just select this button and drag and drop here and we can we got the buttons all the code with okay let me remove this text view we don't need that and then when i now i have to implement the code in the java that when i click on that button it should toast a message uh, that we have to make the constant layout so i will just uh, click on that button and then drag and drop to the bottom first then top see the coding is automatically appeared there then top Hold. okay then top has been appeared now and that corner design and this 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 corner is start see start will be appeared here is this constraints layout um, it is used basically that when your device is screen has smaller size it fits to the middle of your device whatever your screen resolution may be then now i will just give it a text as click me when i click there i want to toast a message post message you know that in the down of your screen it will display some text then i will just okay okay fine whatever i have to do is so, I will just change. Uh, I okay. I will show you the without wrap content. How can you give manual things? 187 dB. You can see the width has been changed. 
it's little bit bigger and the height it's more bigger i'll give one one five one one set the changes happening 50 dp is more okay fine okay now we want to set on click listener that is nothing but when we click on that we want to toast the message okay let's go to the java file now everything is done here next go to java file and here we have to remove this up to set content view we have to remove uh, because we don't need that things okay make sure you remove what i re i have removed otherwise you can get the error okay the uh, import warnings uh, we can ignore it we want to set on closeness on the button that is b i am initializing a variable here so keep in mind and then b is equals to find view by id and enter which it shows if you type a uh, little bit also it shows everything then r dot id dot button the button is the name which i have set on the uh, activity under main xml i will show you that also if b not equal to null then b dot set on clicks listener and that v this arrow mark and then curly brace open that in this inside this we gonna write if this is true then toast toast you have to select the widget dot this widget itself which is shown here then select care sequence only if you select that int it will not display then main act we have to type main activity make sure you type m capital uh, here i will show if i type something else like smaller m uh, it doesn't shows main activity okay so make sure it suggest you capital m then it suggests main activity select it then when dot this when you type dot this uh, before main activity it gets context uh, that is uh, defined by itself then we want to what we want to display on our screen now comma then i just type double quotes the text will appear automatically now uh, hey when learn new skills okay learn this skill uh, then comma then we want to select how for how much duration we want to show that message i will toast dot length long it should suggest you automatically then close the bracket then dot show function that's it uh, we have some errors i i am going to show you how to fix that also um, first one is art layout slash main activity does not contain a declaration okay here we we'll just uh, give it name if you find this error do it whatever i am doing first go to the attributes and type the name as it is again and then enter that's it and then uh, we whatever not we not dot activity click alt enter suppress missing annotated id with annotation okay it's gone now select this is expected okay fine close bracket then semicolon everything is perfectly fine the import statement warnings we can ignore or else i will remove that also 
to be clear and I will show you and here should appear another one what is that statement lambda can be double click and alt enter and then this dialog appears then replace it and that's it and everything is fine and the tick mark should be present in every file c c and in the manifest folder also c then your program is perfectly fine now you can just execute it first go to uh, we have to create a device go to the device manager create virtual device okay create a new device with new device okay select i will just select with pixel 6 then next I'll select pixel 6 next and now okay everything is default itself finish nothing we have to change keep it default and here we got it the device then play the device that is we are switch on our device not the executing our program or the application we are not running it we are just turn on our device that is pixel 6 wait until it's turned on connect me to an emulator okay it's turning on okay it's turning on okay finally gotten one error i will okay we are in this android colon text we have to add art string slash or else we can double click on the hard coded string and alt enter then extract string resource then okay then it will be add string slash click me will be added automatically add string will be added automatically then our error will be fixed run app click it wait it will be started it takes time be patient here our program has launched okay we clicked here is the, our text post message that is here we are i'm going to end this session and i will just do it next program as soon as possible thank you guys please subscribe and like it if you like what i'm doing it